What's up, everybody? It's Kyle. Um, January 15th, got a question from Nan Anans regarding fat grips. Um, he said, hello, I would really like to hear your thoughts on fat grips. Keep up the great work. Nan Anans. Nan Anans. <laughs> um, so if you're not familiar with fat grips, they're basically a rubber, um, like say this is the bar. It's a rubber, um, thick, basically wrap almost. It's like a sleeve that would go over the bar. So instead of having it be this thick, it would be like this. So you'd have to grab, you have to grab really wide. So instead of grabbing like this on a normal bar, you'd be like this. Um, the the reason that people use them are is usually to build up grip strength and build up their forearms. Um, I've used them one time. I used them probably about two years ago, um, and I was doing pull ups with them and something else. I forget what, but it was a back day. I hated them. If I'm when I'm trying to do um, pull-ups, I don't want my forearms and my grip to give out first. In my opinion, it's like the opposite. A fat grip is the opposite of a strap. So straps help you get more reps by not putting a lot of um, demand, I guess, on your forearms and your grip. That way you can get a better squeeze and you can you can do more reps with straps. It's, just, it's all there is to it. With the fat grips, you can't do as many reps. So unless you're unless you're trying to target your forearms and your grip strength, I wouldn't recommend them. So like if you're going in there on back day or even chest day, people use them on the bench press, uh, which I I would not want to be putting up a lot of weight with a fat grip on. The barbell that's just my opinion um so if you're going in there on back day say and you want to you want to get a good back workout if you put fat grips on your pull-ups or i don't even know i mean i guess you could do them on deadlifts but then you'd be almost like doing a hook grip because those things are they're big um you're gonna reduce the amount of reps you can get and if you can if you reduce the amount of reps you can get that's not going to put as much strength or stress on your back and you're going to be your forearms and your grip is going to be wearing out way quicker than your back, which it, it's going to already. I mean, most people, their grip fails on um, pull-ups before their back gets tired. If you're, if you're new, your grip's going to give out way quicker. So I'm not sure it doesn't, he didn't say how long he's been training or what he's trying to do with the, the fat grips, but I would not recommend them for um, anything except for forearm um, and grip targeting. So if you are going to say go in there and do like wrist curls because you're trying to get your forearms bigger, my forearm there. Or um, reverse wrist curls, anything for your forearm or your grip, even just holds, um, like a static hold with them, it's gonna get your that'll that'll hit your your grip better. But I'm not sure what you're trying to target really, so it's hard to say. Um, so basically, if you're going for just grip, if you're trying to add grip strength, go ahead and do some stuff with the fat grips if you feel comfortable with them. You'd probably be better off just uh, doing like, uh, if you do deadlifts or any heavy weight, a heavy weighted row, anything like that, you're going to hit your forearms like crazy. Um, and then if you want, you can throw in some wrist curls, some reverse wrist curls, and that'll add to your forearms. So I hope that helps. Um, and if you got any more questions, Go ahead and shoot me a message or leave them in a the comment box below and I'll be sure to get you guys a video on it. Thanks guys.